These days, I wouldn't be all that surprised if there's a large group of people who only know Medal of Honor as the franchise it eventually became. The modern shooter so utterly obsessed with trying to keep up with Call of Duty on every level, always to its detriment. But in reality, Medal of Honor is a very old franchise, one that the original creators of the Call of Duty games once worked on. And while there were games that preceded it, Allied Assault is probably the most well-known and certainly the most revered of the lot. The game draws an enormous amount of inspiration from the 1998 movie Saving Private Ryan. The film had reignited public interest in the Second World War, and not only does Medal of Honor often lift scenes straight from the film, but they even went so far as to bring Steven Spielberg on as a writer, though it's impossible to know exactly how much work he actually did. And while those lofty goals are certainly somewhat hurt by the game's age, it's surprising how well the game's cinematic nature holds up, especially if you can look past the visuals. The game is more than just inspired by action film, it basically is film at times, or at least it attempts to be so, with all the positives and negatives that trying to achieve that in the game form brings with it. It can often be overly cinematic at the cost of gameplay, especially because it doesn't have a ton of cutscenes, ambitiously attempting to achieve dramatic moments in-game. Of course, as anyone who's ever played the Half-Life games can tell you, that sort of thing is either incredible or a complete failure depending on who's playing the game. Storytelling is reliant on timing, and without being able to predict exactly what the player is going to do or what they're going to be looking at, it can be ridiculously difficult to nail which is why most games just yank control away from the player, something Allied Assault rarely resorts to beyond pre-mission briefings. While not quite as shocking, I was also pleasantly surprised with how well the gameplay has held up, for the most part. The action levels are fantastic, on par with some of the best Call of Duty games, and Allied Assault has everything that one of those games would have, from scripted chase sequences and vehicles, to intimate stealth sequences, to the more traditional, massive spaces filled with an uncountable number of foes. Some of those elements work better than others, and everything feels just a tiny bit dated, like a thin layer of dust has settled on top, but it all meshes together exceptionally well, and after a short acclimation period, I had no problems whatsoever. And that's probably the most remarkable thing here, how this game fits in so incredibly well in the modern gaming landscape. Allied Assault simultaneously serves as an example of how far shooters have come, and how little progress they've made. While games now have mechanically been tuned to near perfection and obviously look quite a bit better graphically, design has not progressed in such a way that makes games like this feel particularly out of date. If this game looked a tad better and had regenerating health instead of health packs, it would fit right in amongst the current crop. Hell, its setting, which has become significantly more unique in the intervening years, might even make it stand out. While it might be slightly depressing that the rather slow progression of mechanical development in the genre is what still makes it enjoyable, over 14 years later, and I'm kind of shocked to be saying this, Medal of Honor Allied Assault remains one of the best World War II games ever made. Every Monday, I look at a game that is at least 10 years old, what I would consider to be retro, and I see if it's held up today, if it's still worth playing now. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. But if you just like this review in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.